How do you write functions in Sway? In this video, I'll show you some simple examples. I'll show you some examples of internal and external functions, and also talk about other topics such as ref mute and returning multiple outputs. So let's start with internal and external functions. An example of an external function is over here. And what I mean by external function is that we'll be able to call this function test func once we deploy this contract. On the other hand, internal functions, we cannot directly call them and they are internal to the contract. So this is an external function. Let me show you an example of an internal function. Let's write a simple internal function. To declare a function, you will start with fn, and then name of the function. I'll name this function equal, and what this function will do is compare two numbers, and then return true if the two numbers are equal. So for the input, we'll pass in two inputs, x of type u64, and y also of type u64. Just a reminder, u64 means that this is an unsigned integer with 64 bits. And in Sidesway, to tell that we want to return some kind of output, what we do is write an arrow, and then followed by the type of returns. For this function, we'll return a boolean, boolean. And then to return some kind of output, there's two ways. The one way that you've seen in other programming language is by typing return, and we want to compare x and y, so say x equals equals y, semicolon. So this is one way of returning an output from a function. Another way, which comes from Rust syntax, is simply to just say x equal equals y. Notice here that I don't put any return, and I also don't put a semicolon. So this is a syntax that comes from Rust, and it tells that the last expression inside the function body will be the return output. So this is an example of an internal function. How can we use this function inside our other functions? For example, let's use this equal function inside here, the test function. So we say assert, if you compare two numbers that are the same, this function equal should return true. For example, 11 and 11. So notice here that we have an external function called test func. This function is a function inside the smart contract, and we'll be able to call this function once the smart contract is deployed. However, we cannot directly call this internal function called equal. The only way to call this function is by calling this test func, which inside this function, it will call the function equal. Let me show you another example. Let's say assert not equal, 11 is not equal to 12. So this was a simple example of internal and external function. Next, let's talk about the topic ref mute. So in Sway, you can pass an input and then also modify the input. And to tell that you're going to modify the input, you'll need to use the keyword ref mute. So for example, let's say that we have a function fn, and we'll pass in an input of number. And when this function is called, I'll call this inc. When this function is called, it will increment the input. Since we're going to be mutating the input, we'll need to say ref mute. And then we'll name this variable num of type u64. And inside it, what we do is say num plus equals one. When this function is called, it will update the num by one. And then after this function is called, num will be incremented by one. Let me show you an example inside a test func. Let's say that mute num is of type u64 is equal to, let's say one, two, three, and then we increment the num. So once we call the function inc, what do we expect this num to be? This num is incremented by one. And since we're using the keyword ref mute, this will update the num variable. So what we expect is assert num to be equal to one, two, four. One, two, three, started out with one, two, three, added one when we call the function inc. So now num will be equal to one, two, four. Let me show you another example of ref mute. For this example, what I'm going to do is declare a tuple and we'll call a function that will swap the elements inside the tuple. So say that mute, I'll name it pair is equal to a tuple. So let's say 12 and 13. And we'll create a function that will swap the zeroth element and the first element. So here, let's say fn, I'll name it swap mute ref mute. Since we're going to be mutating the input, pair pair is of type a tuple of type u64 and u64 we're going to be swapping the elements inside the tuple so say pair dot zero is equal to pair dot one 
Then we also need to say pair dot one is equal to pair dot zero, but now pair dot zero was updated in the first step. So before we do this step, we will need to store the value of pair dot zero inside another temporary variable. So say let temp is equal to pair dot zero. We store in a temporary variable, update pair dot zero to be pair dot one, and then pair dot one will be that temporary variable. We're simply switching element 0 and element 1 of the tuple. Let's go through an example of this function. Here, I'll say swap mute pair. After we call this function, we expect assert pair.0 to be equal to 13 and pair.1 to be equal to 12. For the last example, I'll show you an example of swap, but without mutating the input. And also, this example will show how to return multiple outputs. Let's create a function called swap. It will take in two inputs, x and y. The function will flip the inputs and return y and x. So say fn swap. And this example will be an example of returning multiple outputs. So say x of type u64 and y of type u64. Then all it's going to do, it's going to return multiple inputs. Say u64 and u64. And inside here, we'll return y and then x. We're flipping the inputs. Okay, let's call this function. So here I'll say that x is equal to 1, that y is equal to 2, and then we'll call swap xy. This function will return two outputs. Let's say that b and w is equal to. Notice that here we're using the parentheses to assign multiple outputs to variables b and w. The function swap will swap the inputs x and y. So the first output should be a y. And the second output should be in an x. Say assert b is equal to y and assert w is equal to x. And that completes the example. Let's try compiling the contract. I'll open my terminal and then type fork build. And the contract compiles. Let's also try deploying this contract down testnet and then call the function test func. I'll compile the contract and then deploy it. Okay, once the contract is deployed, I'll try calling the function test func, and it returns true. So, all of this code executed without any errors.